my internet keeps disconnecting. I don't know why, so I'm just trying to make sure I was disconnected. I don't know if anybody come on. This will be uploaded. Oh, somebody's here. Hello, it seems like three people are here. Say hello if you want to in the chat. I'm going to get started here in a minute showing you some items I purchased today and make an announcement about an auction I was supposed to have tonight in case you guys didn't see what I posted on the Facebook group, Barbie Kent's Facebook group. So, if anybody say anything, I can't see it, so I'm not ignoring. Do you want to pop over in the chat and say hello so I know you're, somebody's here, so I know my stream is working? Tell me if you can hear me. Because right before I got on here, it just kept kicking me off the internet for some reason. My socks are tight. Okay, I don't know if you guys are typing or not, or if you just don't want to. I need somebody to say hello before I start all this, and this people aren't quite hearing me. Are you hearing me? Am I coming in okay? Okay, well, I'm going to start because I'm tired. <laughs> um, I am not having my auction tonight. I had scheduled it for tonight at 6.30 Central Time. But I am not having an auction tonight. I have rescheduled it for this Sunday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon Central Time. So 4 o'clock this Sunday, I'll have the auction. What is that? The 4th. So Sunday, August 4th at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, I will be having my auction. A lot of different reasons why I'm not having it tonight. One reason is I got put on a different medication and it was messing me up really bad. I had to go off of it. And so I was just, I'm just now trying to get straightened out from all that mess. Raised my blood sugar way high. It was just a mess. Um, they put me on a new one for insomnia. And even though I slept, I felt, oh, horrible. Horrible. Dizzy. And then my blood sugar would run high. So if you want to come to my auction, you're more than welcome. You don't have to bid on anything or buy anything. You can participate in the giveaways that I'll be having, whether you bid or buy. I'll be giving away some free jewelry. I've got um, a couple things set out to give away. I'll probably get out a couple more. One is a set of little earrings necklace set. And one's an earring necklace, earring necklace bracelet combo. So I'll be doing that Sunday the 4th. Sorry, I got like a gnat here. Bugging me. So anyway, today what I did, I was going to go to an antique store, but then I just, when we got over there, we, we decided like, eh, I'm really not in the mood to go to an antique store where, really I was going over there to see if I could rent a booth, but I decided, eh, I'd rather go just a little farther down the road and go to this like thrift store that was a community thrift store in, a, in the town that I went to one time. I told you guys I hadn't been there for like 17 years. And I used to live right, right, right in an apartment on the street, next street over from it. I picked up some jewelry. So I picked up these. I don't know if you can see. They're, it's a set of cufflinks and a tie bar. Now, it is um, in its original box. It's Japanese. I just looked these up. 
it comes with this little card, and the card says it's Ando Closin' A Company Ltd. And then it gives the history of Closin' A. It says, like, was invented by Mr. And I can't pronounce his name because it's a Japanese name, who was born in Nagoya in the era of, he was born in 1803, somewhere around there. Since then, the great strides have been made in the improvement in techniques, and it has been renowned not only in our country, but also all over the world. And then it gives, like, the telephone numbers for Tokyo and Osaka and all this, so that's neat. Put this up, and apparently this company makes claws and a pottery that goes for quite a bit of money, and apparently these go for quite a bit. Now, they're, they're quite tarnished. I'm going to kind of try to polish them up. I don't know if they're silver. Some of this... Um, some of the things, the claws and the jewelry that I found was silver. Now, this sticks to a magnet, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this sticks to a magnet. So, anyway, I think that these are worth... Uh, I saw some of them listed for like $90, so who knows? I'll have to do some more research. It is cufflinks and... I'm going to pop out my chat just in case, in case people are chatting and I'm not seeing it. It's weird that nobody's saying anything. Okay, people, you are talking. Sorry, guys, I did not see any of this. I had to pop up my chat. It wasn't showing up on the other one. Sorry. Okay, so who's here? Let me go back and say hello to everybody. Sorry. Um, Deborah's here. Thank you. De Hi, Deborah. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, George. Oh, I don't, I'm not having an auction tonight, George. I'm having it Sunday, but, but, uh, I, I invoice through PayPal. So if you have a debit or credit card, you can go through PayPal and pay the invoice. Uh, hi, Sherry. Hi, Susan. Sorry. I, okay. I see that you're talking now. I, it wasn't showing up. You know how when you don't pop out the chat, you just have the regular chat. It wasn't showing up. Um, oh, you sent me an email, Jennifer. I have my emails where it doesn't like ding dong because I hate notifications. So I did that. My phone will be going off all the time. Hi, Gail. If I didn't say hi to you. Hi, Angie. And hi, Rose. Okay, so now I can see you guys. Sorry. So have anybody ever heard of Ando Closine Jewelry? Apparently they make um, Closine Pottery. And it's a Japanese company, and I found these today. So, like I said, I'll repeat it again because I didn't see what you guys were saying. Um, I'm not having my auction tonight. I did make that announcement on Barbie and Ken's Facebook group. I'm, I've switched it to Sunday at 4 p.m. I hope that's convenient for everybody. Central time at 4 o'clock. Um, I hope that's okay. So I won't be on tonight. Like I said, um, mom's doing great. Thanks, Gail, for asking. She's really watching her diet and keeping her fiber intake up, so she's doing well. Um, the reason I'm not doing my auction tonight is Angie's having one over on Facebook. Not Angie. Sorry, Angie. Cindy, why did I say Angie? I'm out of it. Cindy's having one. Cindy Levin. So you can go watch her on Facebook, on her Facebook group, Glam Squad, and that was called. So um, that, and I just, I got put on a different medication. I went to Dr. Monday, and they put me on a different medication for, um, my insomnia and it, oh, it was horrible. I had my feet swell, my feet swelled up. My feet were swollen, bedtime. I was dizzy. I was highly agitated. I mean, I was, I was ready to beat somebody. I could have beat somebody. I agitated. The medicine made me agitated. My mom was like, you got to do something. And it only took him for two days, mind you, three days. And um, my blood sugar was running high on it. And he shouldn't have gave it to me because it says, it will make your blood sugars not be controllable. And I was dizzy. I was foggy headed. I was so sleepy. I couldn't even drive. So I'm just kind of coming out of that stupor right now. I've got a, I, I messaged my doctor. I hope he, I said, I'm not taking this no more. Can't. I mean, agitated. I mean, I could have beat somebody to the, I mean, I was agitated. It was terrible. And when you've got neuropathy anyway, and I'm feet and can walk very well you don't need to be dizzy it was they put me on for insomnia and it was like it was like an antidepressant and i know enough because i don't just take what the doctor tells me i always research 
So I knew enough that if you go on an antidepressant and it has the opposite flip side of it, you're not, you don't need it. If it makes you not better depression wise, but makes you like even more down, I felt numb. I felt like dull, numb in my head and I was so angry. I mean, I would rather go without sleep than feel that kind anymore. And it, my head felt like there was pressure coming out of it. It was so weird. I, well, I'll tell you what, guys. I was at Barbie and Ken's auction Tuesday night, and I could not. And you know I live in a travel trail. It's literally two steps from my recliner to my chair. I fell asleep as soon as I went down because I could did not have the energy, strength, or um, stability to get up out of that chair and go to the bedroom. I was like, I can't do this no more. Uh-uh. Oh, oh. I'm starting to come out of it, so I feel better today. But that's why I'm putting off my auction because I thought I can't, I don't have time to, I've got it like all packaged, but I've got like, I'll write the list, you know? So I hope you guys can come to my auction this Sunday. I don't know if anybody else is on at that time. I mean, go to both, but it's at four o'clock Sunday afternoon. I hope that doesn't interfere with any of you guys. I know Sunday's a lot of times a family day. But if you want something fun to do in the afternoon, I'll have some giveaways and you can participate in those too. Uh, did I miss anybody? I said hi to Rose, didn't I? Oh, thanks, Rose. I hope I feel better, too. <clears throat> yeah, that would be 5 Eastern, Angie. Because I'm on Central Time. So 5 Eastern, 2 o'clock, if you're over there in California, right? Yeah, because California is two hours behind me. So 2 o'clock Pacific, 4 o'clock Central, 5 o'clock Eastern. And if you're anywhere else, get off the map, figure it out. I'm not, I don't know. But anyway, on to better things. I did go to a thrift store, like I said, and I got these, like I said, and they're Ando Claws and A, and they look like they're going for good money. Okay, good, Rose. I'm glad I said hi. Um, I also found some Sarah Coventry brooches. So you know how I like Sarah Coventry, and I'm going to look these up in my book. I've not seen this one before. I don't know if you guys have. Angie, you might have seen this one before. I'm going to hold it up. It's silver tone with that black enamel in the center. And this is Sarah Coventry, a brooch. I'll hold it real still so you guys can see it. Oh, you live in Virginia Road, so you'd be Eastern time. So it'd be 5 o'clock, right? Your time. On Sunday. Is anybody familiar with this? This is a Sarah Coventry brooch. I just thought it was really pretty. Oh, really? They, a Sarah Co well, they probably made a set out of it. I have a Sarah Coventry book, and when I look these up, most of the time the brooches. Okay, cool, Rose. I'm glad you can come. My Sarah Coventry book is over there. Let me go get my Sarah Coventry book real quick if it's over here. Bear with. I got to get up. I think it's over here. Might not be. Yeah, it is. Because I, I, I get more Sarah Coventry stuff. Too. And I'll tell you what I'm going to have at that auction too, guys. Sunday is this beautiful brooch. I decided to put it in the auction. It wasn't on my pre-auction video. This is a beautiful, can you see that? This is a beautiful wooden hand-painted Russian brooch. Isn't that pretty? I've looked these up. If you want to look at hand-painted brooches, they go for a really good price. So, you know you'll get a good deal on it because I won't start that high. You guys see that? Isn't that pretty? And it's signed on the back. Can't tell the signature, but I know, do know I've looked it up. It is Russian. I've had a Russian barrette before, hand-painted wooden. This is a brooch. I was unsure because how the back was, but these are the, how the backs are on the other ones. And this will be at my auction. I'm going to throw it in my auction Sunday. Hold on just a second. Let me do it right. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's, it's, it's um, like I said, a wooden hand painted. And it's signed. So this will be in my auction um, Sunday. 
guys like my fingernails? Remember to go down there. Go down there and order some. It's only five bucks a set. Anyway, here's my Sarah Coventry book that I got. And I've had this. So we can look this up and see what it's called. Angie, do you, do you have any no idea what that pattern is called, that Sarah Coventry one? I've got brooches, I guess, in here. They usually don't have them in the list of brooches. They have them listed as sets. It might take too long. I might not be able to look it up. I like this because it has the original advertisement photo scanned in here. I'll show you while I'm looking it up. These are, uh, I just found these. These are gold tone. Um, I've had a silver tone before. It's a textured leaf. And in this book, this these are saying the value of these, which is an older book. So it's $48 to $65. These came with matching earrings. That's the set. This is Sarah Coventry. I've sold this like three times. Had it in silver and gold. This is the gold one. And if you come to my auction, I don't know if you guys can see this. This bracelet right here, I don't know if you guys can see because it's in a book. Can you guys see that bracelet right there? I found that bracelet in a bag of jewelry, but the only thing missing to it was it's got a fold over clasp. And it's got the fold over clasp, but it's missing the little thing on the other end that, that goes in it. So I put it in a repurposed bag, and you guys will be getting that if you buy the repurposed bag, and it's a very easy fix. I'm pretty sure that's the one I had. If it's not, it was a Crown Trifari. It, coming to think of it, it might have been a Crown Trifari, but anyway, so if you buy the repurposed stuff, you're going to get a Crown Trifari or a Sarah Coventry. I think it might have been a Crown Trifari now that I showed, but it looked a lot like that. I'm going to have some repurposed lots. I can't find this brooch. They don't like list brooches just separate. Um, they list like all the like the names of them. Like I know what the names are. That's why I got the book to look up the names. So the only thing I don't like about the Sarah Country book is that you have to go through it and over and over to find it. But I like looking at jewelry, so it don't matter to me. All right, so I'll move on because you guys didn't come on here to see me look at a magazine or a book. But anyway, it's neat. Um, okay, another thing I got. So I got those two Star Coventry. I got this one because it looked old to me. And I've had one very similar to it, and it's very blingy. I'm going to try to hold it where you guys can see it well. It's multicolored rhinestone brooch. Twisted two circles inside each other. And they're like all pastel colors, like blue, pinks, aqua, greens, dark blues. And it's two circles like that. It's not March, but I just do believe it's old. And because look at the back of it. It's got that, that, that thing up there. Okay, I got this necklace and I had to pin it in the back because it's really long because I wanted to show you what it looks like as far as on Matilda. Okay, it's silver tone and look at that pendant. Isn't that a beautiful pendant? It's got like a red garnet colored stone in the middle. But it's not, it's two, double stranded, this strand and then this strand with the pendant. And um, isn't that gorgeous? And it's really long, okay? So I had to clip it up to so it would fit on Matilda too. It has a clasp on it that reminds me of Goldette, but it's not Goldette. But it's got this, I'll show you the clasp. It's got this pretty clasp, kind of clasp on it. Fold over with these. It's not marked at all. And see, it hangs like this. 
Let me get situated so you guys can see. See it's wall. Isn't that pretty? I would say this is probably 28 inches long, the longest part of it. I don't know how the, uh, the other one is. I just think that's a gorgeous pendant in it. This net is driving me nuts. Fred. But I thought that was gorgeous. And it is not marked anywhere, like I said, but still pretty. I might put that in our, my, I probably put that in the auction Sunday too, because it's just so pretty. So I'll put that in the wooden one. I'm going to show you something I found in a bag. You tell me if I, if it's what I think it is. Is this the belly button ring? Like you put it, that ball screws off there. Is that a belly button ring? Or tongue. Okay. Okay. Do you know what they did? Do you know what they had the audacity to put on the end of the belly button slash tongue ring? Snoopy. No. That is a no-no. You do not put my dear Snoopy on your nasty belly button ring. I ripped him off there. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer Hayes. There was a bunch of these on, and I can't, I haven't got the other ones off. And they were all stuck together like a bracelet. And this one fell off. And they had like all these other characters on there. And I saw Snoopy and I was like, oh, poor Snoopy. Maybe I want to cry. I was like, he's coming off there. There, I released him from the belly button ring. Snoopy deserves better. He's even got a heart. He's even carrying a heart. How dare they? So now I gotta get all the other characters off there. My poor Snoopy. Made me cry. Okay, I also got a couple rings, and now that I look at them, they brought kind of tarnished. So I might just sell them like a quarter or auction. This is a seven and a half. It's kind of interesting looking. I don't know what that is. But it's a seven and a half. And then I got this ring. I think it's a men's ring. It says 11, but it doesn't fit me. My fingers are swollen. It's just a ring like that. I'll probably keep that for me. This is awful tarnished. Okay, so that's the jewelry I got today. Jennifer, are you, Jennifer Layton, are you feeling better? Probably just a slow process of healing, right? So, a couple other things I found. Oh, did you, Jennifer? Sorry. Never good. So I bought a couple hard good things to sell. I wanted to share with you guys that I sold. I think I had it on one of my videos. I don't know if you guys remember it. I had bought a plastic um, Starbucks. Yeah, that's what you got to do, Jennifer. Or you won't you get lost in the downward cycle of it's never going to be. And that's how I had to do when I had my shoulder surgery. Because I was stuck in that stupid sling it was immobilizer not just a sling for six weeks even sleeping it had to sleep in it 
it was like I just kept having to think, it's almost over, it's almost over. Because it almost made you claustrophobic being all wrapped up in that. But I bought a Starbucks um, plastic travel mug. And it was one like you put in your car. I paid 50 cents for it. And I sold it yesterday, guys, on eBay for $14.99. Plus, they paid shipping. I just shipped it out today. So you never know. So today, I picked up this Starbucks mug. And it just has really... I thought somebody had really just done this on their own. It has really just bad Starbucks written, coffee written on it. True, Jennifer, Jennifer Hayes. Um, it says Starbucks on the bottom. These are going, these are listed for anywhere from 18 to $20. I mean, sorry, $8 to $20. $8 to $20. So I'll list that. Uh, I'm glad I picked this up. Look at this. Charlie Brown. It's like a jelly jar um, glass, what we always called them. It is lists all of them I saw listed were listed for $20. And I paid a dollar for it. It's just got Charlie Brown and he's flying a kite on it. So awesome. It says 1958, 1950. But people People are taking that means it's 1950, but it's not a 1950 glass. It when it says that it means Charlie Brown. That's the year this this was this was um this scene wherever he drew it was drawn. On the bottom it says 88, so I bet it's 1988 glass. So pick up the Starbucks, pick up stuff like that. Um, I'll probably set this at about 12.99. See if I can't sell it. I have to, I have to wash it up. Uh, but I mean, I paid fifty cents for a plastic one. It sold for fourteen ninety nine, and they paid seven thirty five to get it shipped to them. So they paid over twenty two dollars total. So you guys, you never know what's going to go. I'm going to show you guys some things I'm going to have. You want to see the giveaways that I'm going to have at my auction? I can show you the giveaways. Would you like to see the giveaways I'm going to do at my auction? Yes, no, maybe. And anybody can participate in the giveaway. You don't have to buy or bid on anything. I tried to find like a jewelry book or some kind of beading book to put to give away because I like giving away those. But I didn't couldn't find any today. This is one thing that I will be giving away, and it's just uh, designed in the USA, but made in China. Lead, nickel, and ca cadmium, whatever that is, safe. It's little seashell French hook earrings. This will be in a giveaway that I have Sunday. And then it's got a necklace with it, and the necklace is so cute because the necklace has a mermaid on it. Let me show you the little things. It has a mermaid on it. It has a little thing that says, I'd rather be a mermaid and a seashell. So I thought, well, that's a good giveaway because, you know, you could use that yourself or a lot of people like the sea stuff or you give it to your granddaughter or daughter or whatever. Okay, let me go get the other giveaways that I'm going to give away. The giveaways. Oh, just Jennifer uh, Layton, I know that you've had a lot going on with your surgery, but did you get that repurposed bag that you bought for me last time? And you said that you were, you know, your daughter was going to do some repurposing. This, I'm going to show you first one of the things that I didn't show you on my video. Okay, this weighs 2 pounds, 4.4 ounces. So 2 pounds, so 2 pounds, Matilda. 
and just fell off the table. Okay, do you like the stuff? Don't, I like to know. I mean, people aren't satisfied with stuff. I really do like to know so I can like up my game. This way is what did I just say it weighed? 2.4 point 2.2 4.4 ounces. Two pounds, 4.4 .4 ounces. This is another repurposed bag. It's shoved, crammed full. Two pounds, 4.4 .4 ounces of jewelry to repurpose. And I'm going to give you an idea. This is what that bracelet was, I just told you. And it's, uh, now that I think of it. Hi, Barbie. It was okay. Well, maybe it's not either. I guess it's not either. I thought it was. I know I put a Crown Trifari in there. But anyway, didn't that look like a Sarah Coventry that we just saw in that book? I know I put something in there that was like Crown Trifari or something. I have a gnat around me. Here we go. This. This is in this is in a repurp this is in the repurpose bag that I just showed you. This is a crown trifari and it looks like tulip bracelet. Am I buffering? I'm not buffering on my end. And there's nothing wrong with this except that the latch is there, but the latch, you know how you go like this and you latch it in and then you go over? The one that you latch it on, okay, Barbie, is um, broke. But you will get this crown trifari in this repurposed bag. That is very easy. To, if some of you ladies who know how to fix jewelry, fix jewelry. So this is over two pounds of jewelry. Two pounds, 4.4 .4 ounces. And I was impressed with this. Isn't this gorgeous? I thought this was really pretty. And it's in the repurposed bag because it's broken. It almost looks like it's marked something. This is in there. A lot of metal, metal stuff. Did you guys do anything with metals? There's a Juicy Couture pendant in there. There's some shoe clips in there that it may or minus the shoe clips but they're metal so this will be auctioned off at my auction and then there's other just little things in there some beaded stuff oh yeah that bugged me too barbie but i'm I mean, i'm telling you guys this is repurposed and since it's so heavy you're gonna have to pay shipping on it i'm gonna start out really cheap because it's all stuff that i would have got rid of and when i say cheap i'll probably start this out like at 50 cents for the bag and then you guys take it as high or as low as you want to because you're gonna have to get at least enough jewelry that night to fit to ship this you know for eight dollars so it's all stuff that i'm ha happy to pass on to somebody for for just a little bit of money if they can do something with it 
So this, and this clamper bracelet is really neat, but it's missing some rhinestones. But I was hoping somebody could like redo that. Sunday at four o'clock, which will be five o'clock your time um, on Sunday afternoon. Which will be five o'clock your time, Barbie. Not tonight, Sunday. I stopped taking that medication uh, last night because my it rose my blood sugars up really bad. And ever since now it's got getting out of my system, I'm starting to feel better. I can't take that medication. I put a note into my doctor. Anyway, what I was getting out for you guys was um, some more of what I'm going to give away. Oh, you oh you go to church on Sunday night also? I didn't know if you did. How long does church last? I can't do it tonight. I'm not prepared tonight to do it. I'm still a little out of it, too. So one thing I'm giving away at my auction um, Thursday is this really long purple beaded necklace. I'm just going to hold it up like this and show you the different beads. Beaded with that shell stuff on it. Purples. Really long. Double stranded. You can throw it over your head. Hold on a minute. I know you're fuzzy. See how long it is? Really long. But it comes with a matching wraparound bracelet. So it's that, that kind of, what do you call those? I don't know, like little stone things. It's a matching wraparound bracelet. Then it's got matching lever back earrings. The lever backs on them are a little worn, but I'm giving them away as a giveaway, so maybe you could take those bids off. What did you put on there? A, a matty face and a flat. What's the flag of? So that'll be a giveaway I'll be, I'll be giving away. I cleaned those too. I cleaned those just last night. Okay, and then I in this in this bag I have stuff, and I think I'm gonna use it as giveaway stuff. But I want to ask you guys something. If you can see this, I don't know if you can see this. This is a hang tag I've never dealt with before, and it looks like it's it looks like DJ in calligraphy. I'm gonna hold it up there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Probably not. Let Hold on just a minute. Anybody know what those are? I... I assume it's a DJ. It's in calligraphy writing. Oh, I don't know if it's Betsy Johnson. Does she do it in calligraphy? I don't know. Well, I'll look up and see if she does it clearly, but this is what I'm going to be giving away. It kind of looks like her style. This is the pendant that's on the long chain. I might give that a one away. I'll look it up and see if it's Betsy Johnson. Now. I got these out last night and I was like, what in the world was people high on when they were making this jewelry? But we're going to go with it, okay? Thought about having part of, the, it, it, part of my jewelry just being, let's let's sell off some 
I'll look it up. If it does, I didn't even think about it being a B. Um, what were people taking when they made these? These are French hook earrings. One is a fork, and the fork has got a daisy on it. And one is a spoon, and it's got a bee on it. So together you wear these earrings. You have a fork with a daisy and a spoon with a bee. Oh no, this isn't BJ and a heart. You like those, Angie? They're long ones. They'd hang down here. You get some looks if you warm. Then I got this Avon. It looks kind of vintagey tennis looking bracelet. It's got yellow rhinestones and it's a fold over clasp. Then I had this ne this necklace. It's silver tone looks like pewter, and it's just got a toadstool mushroom on the end of it. You probably like this too, then Angie. You like quirky stuff. Look at the mushroom. Look. I gotta go check my phone. My mom might be messaging me. Hold on, just a minute. living and then I got this one and it's got a, like a glass pig on the end of it a plastic look at the back they're not marked anything they look like somebody made them do you mean the, the silverware look at the back see if they're Scandinavian or the the mushroom's not marked, and neither is it's on a chain like that. Uh, no, these aren't marked. The spoons and, and silverware isn't marked. They're heavy. They're heavy. You can see on the back where the fork was, where where the the piece of the flower was put into the fork, where where the the piece of the flower was put into the fork. No, the mushroom's not signed either. I've looked all the way around it. I cleaned it up even too so I could see if I could see a mark. And it's real heavy. It's a real heavy mushroom. Weighs quite a bit. That whole mushroom necklace weighs like 0.7 ounces, 0 0.07. Then I got this heart pendant. And I heart pendant. And I thought it was so pretty because I don't know if it'll come off here, but you see how that has. Hold on a second. That has different colored rhinestones around. Around the heart pendant, gold and silver, then dark. Isn't that pretty?
those were my quirky finds. And I thought this was quite quirky. It was uh, it's a adjustable ring. And Jennifer, the Jess will ring with all that on top of it. I figured too, if I had my auction on a Sunday afternoon, I'll have the light, you know, the outside light coming in and it will be better to be able to see since I'm on this stupid laptop. So what should I give away? Should I give away the mushroom one? The quirky spoon and fork silverware ones? What do you think? Which one should I? I'm, I'm going to have at least three giveaways, three or four giveaways, depending on how long I go. Should I give away the spoon and fork earrings? Here, we got to show Jennifer these because these were so quirky. Look at these, Jennifer. They're weird. A spoon with a bee on it. They're, they're French hook earrings. They're really long. Wait a minute. And then it's got a daisy on the fork. See, they're French hook. Should we give away these at my auction? Or the mushroom necklace? Or the vintage Avon? I think it's vintage. Uh, yellow rhinestone tennis style fold over class bracelet which one should we give away the shroom Susan Ironside says we should give away the mushroom it's on a decent lump and chain. I cleaned it up. It's a lobster class. Hey, okay, we'll put the sh we'll put the mushroom necklace over in the giveaway pile. Is anybody like this? I claim this twice. It just feels like it could be cleaner. It's Avon. I'll put that in the auction stuff then. The Avon uh, fold over bracelet. I'll put this this in there too. You never know. I always like having extras. I'll put this in there to be auctioned off too. It's pretty pendant. That's what I was thinking. I don't have a cloth, so I'll leave it up to you guys to shine it up it just seems like those rhinestones should shine more it's marked avon and i i didn't even get to see the avon until after i cleaned it i looked all around to see if it maybe it was sterling but because it's not sticking to a magnet that i remember look see it doesn't stick to a magnet but i didn't test i could test it right now i keep my ass at hand not drugs. Don't go there. My acid. Well, it's definitely not sterling. The heart is really pretty. I like it too. 
I really like knew it was going to look good, and then I put it in my sonic cleaner last night. I'm like, yep, that cleaned up so nice. So explain to me again what verbeal is. I know what it is, but I know. Okay, yeah, I bet it's gold over sterling gold wash. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Well, I might. Could I take a toothbrush to it, or would that be too harsh? Sometimes I take a soft bristle toothbrush to it. I'll put it in the auction. So I'm going to put that in there. And then remember, we got the Russian brooch we're going to put in there. That's kind of what it reminded me of. It just reminded me of a better piece of Avon jewelry. You know what I mean? And usually you don't find, I don't find anyway, you guys might, like the, the yellow colored rhinestone. So, I might appreciate it. I don't really like calling it vintage because I don't know how. This is Avon with a circle around it. So, you know, Avon puts so much stuff out that it's hard to tell. Yeah, that's what I use. That's what I use, uh, Angie. Dawn dish soap and general rub, yeah, with a toothbrush. That's what I used to do before I had my sonic cleaner. Angie, have you ever heard of these um, Ando, A-N-D-O, Clausen A? Uh, it's Japanese. They also make uh, pottery. It's Clausené, and it's from it's got its original card with it. It's Japanese uh, cufflinks and tie tie bar. I looked it up. It seems like it go for a lot of money. Let me go over and get all the basket of stuff I've got for auction. I'll show you guys. Sorry, if you have to look at my plate. Uh, how you say a tisk and a task and a green and yellow basket? Look, that basket is full of stuff for the auction. I'm like, it's heavy too. It's very pretty, and uh, I looked it up, and they're worth a little bit of much, a little bit of money. I am selling a diamond international bracelet at my auction that I showed you guys, and you were right it was diamond international and if you look up diamond international with a capital d lowercase i and it looks like this like die when you buy one of these it just has this charm on it it's quite a bit of money um at least goes for like 13 14 dollars the one i am selling has multiple charms on it. it has a totem pole it has a fish it has i don't know it looks like a sombrero hat almost and it has a bear on it. So a Diamond International Charm Bracelet will be at the, at the, at the auction. And this one, that it was a charm bracelet with hearts on it and keys and, the, and then the heart watch. I, I did change the battery of that and it works perfectly fine. And it's got these keys on it with hearts and the heart charms. So it's not only a charm bracelet, but you also will... Have a watch that works. Brand new battery. Put it right in there. It works. Um, so I know you guys have seen some, some of my stuff. I'm just kind of going back over it. So I can add this stuff to it. Also, I have uh, some copper. I believe it's copper. A co set of copper bracelet, necklace, and ring. Oh, cool. That would be pretty. I like purple rhinestones. Purple's my favorite color. Um, I don't know if you guys who do beads, if these are good beads. This is from JewelrySupply.com. It's package has never been open of these beads, these wooden feeling beads. I've got three packages of the red and one package of black that I'm going to have. And these will sell for very, try I'll start these out at a quarter a piece. So, also, don't forget, I'm going to have these um, beautiful jewelry boxes at my auction. This is made in Japan. just says Japan on it. It is silver. Some of you guys said you were more into the silver boxes. You could find the gold, but not the silver. 
This is silver. It has the little feet on it that curve out. And of course you open it and it's lined. So it is very, very pretty. Got two people on there, like a courting couple. I'll have this Clausenay, um, not, not Clausenay, Abalone Wild Pearl still in its original box. Wild Pearl is a company, if you look up, it's a fish necklace. It is Abalone, true Abalone. Oh, purple is your favorite color too, Susan? Yeah, and my, it works out good because my birthstone's Amethyst. And that is Abalone, it says it right there. And it's the original box. I have not even taken this necklace out to see how long it is. I don't even want to mess with seeing how long it is. It's got an original price tag on it. Its original price was $29.99. Because it's got its original price tag. It says Necklace Tropical Fish, $29.99. So, you know you're not going to pay that much for it. I got a big old bag of rings. Um, oh, here's some more giveaway items I was going to do for giveaway. I was going to do these cute little confetti earrings. See how the bottoms are like confetti in there? And this really pretty long necklace, gold necklace I was going to do. I don't have a lot of giveaways. I like giving away stuff. I have men's jewelry. I have some sterling silver. This whole bag has got sterling silver in it. I wanted to show you guys this brooch because you ladies who know stones, maybe you can tell me what this stone is. I think it's a stone because why would they put something fake in sterling silver? This is, if Deborah Cabasa is still on here, she sent me this as a gift and bless her heart. This is a brooch, okay? I'm going to show you. My niece was born in June, Jennifer, but she was two months premature. It looks like a trinity, like the trinity sign, okay? Does that look like any kind of stone? or amber or something it's sterling silver this brooch has been tested it is sterling silver i tested it. it's acid tested it's not marked sterling silver but it did test out as sterling silver is that some kind of stone or something or is it just i don't know yeah amethyst is february that's me but my niece i said was born in june When I was answering about the about the purple, I was answering um, Susan Ironside. Oh, you were you were answering Susan Ironside. I see it now, Jennifer. Now I was born in February. That's amethyst. Uh, what's June? June's diamond, isn't it? Does it look like amber? That's what I thought too, Angie, because it's got those like flecks in it. Well, see, I can't sell something saying it's amber. If I don't know for sure. But like I said. Um, it was didn't stick to a magnet. And then I tested it. It's not marked anywhere on it that I can see. Sterling. But it tested out as sterling. There's some wear on it. It's not cold. It's not cold. That's why I'm thinking it's plastic. It does kind of feel like plastic, to be honest with you, Angie. It's, it's not cold. But I thought, would they stick something? But I guess they would. Like I said, it is sterling. Where did Loop-de-Loo go? I'm always losing poor Loop-de-Loo. I don't have a black light, though. Oh, amber feels like plastic? Oh, well, it feels like plastic. Do I? I have amber. I don't have a black light. Well, you guys are going to get to bid on it uh, uh, Sunday. So, like I said, it does not mark sterling anywhere, but I did test it. It's got some wear on it. Might be silver plate. I don't know, but it did test out a sterling. Um, dropped it. Um, 
Lovely Deborah Cabasa sent it to me as a gift to do with what I wanted. And it just reminds me of the Trinity symbol that they use for the Trinity. And while you guys are sitting here, I'm gonna I test I'm gonna test it again, just to make sure. I put it with my sterling silver, but I'm gonna test it just to make sure that I, you know, I don't want to sell anybody something that is not that is not right. Oh yeah. I can show you. I'm going to move my thing down. Try not to close you. You see that? See how that's orange? That, that's what happens when you, you screw the scratch test and you put the sterling silver on there. See how it turned orange where the scratch is? I see that? Did, you, did, you, did that come off of the camera? I'll do it again if it didn't. Because when you put it on metal that isn't sterling silver, it just disappears. The, the line disappears. You scratch it. It feels like plastic. Did you guys see the scratch thing that I put on there and the orange? Did somebody answer the question? Please. I dreamed like I last night I was a teacher and I was so frustrated with the kids. I woke up frustrated. The last text I am seeing is Barbie, or Jennifer said Bar Barbie. Am I not seeing you guys' chat again? Do I need to, like, bring the chat back up? Let me close my chat, guys, and bring it back up. I don't think I'm seeing everybody's chat. Okay, now now can somebody say something? Um, did you see the little orange? Okay, so you guys saw the little orange that I the little orange thing. So that brooch is ster is silver is sterling silver. Whether it's amber or not, I'm not making a call. If you get amber, good for you. If you buy it, I'm selling it as sterling silver brooch because I know it's sterling silver. Okay, sound good to you guys? Hi, Anna. Just showing some stuff I'm going to have in my auction. And then this brooch is that brooch I showed you. And it is sterling silver. It does have a lot of wear on it. But it is Bow, B-E-A-U. Um, Bow sterling. Um, well, Barbie, I told you if you bought these, you don't have to paint your nails. Silly girl. But you guys, you usually see. Seems like the 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 times that I have sterling silver on my auctions, people don't want it. And the times I don't have it, they want it. And then these beautiful earrings, these are sterling. Aren't those nice looking? Those are sterling, and they are marked 925. And I tested them; they are sterling. They are um, like who like they hook on ears like that. Just really, and I'm not even sure how to start these out selling these what these would go for. These are really very thin sterling silver for chains that are marked. One of them's marked uh, sterling um, Italy. 925 Italy. And, and a name above it. I don't know what the name above it is. D Y D Y A D E M A. Does that make sense?
Does that word I just typed in there sound familiar to you guys when it says Italy at 925? D-Y-A-D-E-M-A. Yeah, you got to watch about my nails because uh, they're only $5 a set. You get 18 of them. And if you buy so many, you get one free. And shipping is only like $4.95 on them. Do you guys recognize that name? D-Y. It says that, and then it says 925, and it says, if I'm reading the Y correctly, and then it says Sterling. Italy. I, it's, no, it says that, 925 in Italy. If I'm re reading it right, it's hard to read through a thing. Sometimes I punch it in Google; it'll give me the correct what I, what I'm what it correctly should say. And then this one is marked. Just nine two five Italy. Okay, it is. It is that. It's called. It's it's Italy silver. It's di diadema, Italy sterling silver necklace. So, learn something new today. It is sterling silver from Italy, and I have a chain. Um, that is that. It's really a short chain. And I'm, I wonder, though, if the extender is silver or if the chain is silver. I assume so. And then I have another one, an Italy chain, in um, a real thin one. So I do have, so I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five pieces of sterling silver that will be at the auction. I should test those when I have them out right now. Those, I'll actually test the the chain part of them to see if they're silver. It's hard to get that to scratch off. Because I want to be able to tell you guys, I've tested it and it's real. That way, you know, they can mark anything as anything. Yeah, we'll see. Get my acid out again. Don't look, Barbie. Oh, yeah, it's silver. It's turning orange. It's marked correctly. It's silver, guys. So I have some silver small chains. I have two silver brooches that might have amber in it, but you guys look out if you get that because I don't know if it does or not. If it's amber or not. And then, um, oh, yeah, that's silver. It's turning really almost a red. And so you guys get all that, which is cool. Well, you don't get it for free. You get to bid on it. So one, two, three, four, five pieces of silver. Awesome.
wonder if this is. Uh, no, I can tell it's not. So, um, like I said, I'm changing my auction to 4 o'clock Central on Sunday afternoon, which is 5 o'clock Eastern. Uh, lots of good stuff. Come by and chat. Hang out. Win some free stuff. And... Oh, do you, Jennifer? First time I've heard of it. I tested it. It, it tested silver, so that's good. So I found this pretty watch in my um one of my last things you'll see on there. It's a ring watch, isn't it pretty? I'm keeping it for me. I don't like watches, but I like ring watches. I gotta change the battery in it, which is gonna be hard. Hopefully I can do it. As long as I don't pinch my finger. Ring watch. Stretchy ring watch. All right guys, I'll let you go. Um, I'm tired. I'm still having the after effects of that stupid medication he changed me to. He needs to email me what he's going to do about this. I'm not taking it. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for hanging out with me. Sorry about canceling the auction tonight, but just rewatch that video that I put up if you want to about what will be at the auction. You'll see those things there. Now you know some of the giveaways I'm going to do. And go check out my video on the rarity nails they're great nails these have stayed on great i've washed dishes and everything they have stayed on wonderful five bucks you can't beat them so i will talk to you guys later thanks for being here with me bye